I'm trying. There you go. Let's go. When should it be our country's choice for future production of electricity? When is the energy the fastest growing source of power on the planet? With a tremendous wind resource, the United States can become a world leader in wind energy. Today, there are more than 15 giga, 550 gigawatts of installed wind capacity, enough to provide electricity to 13 million homes. States like Iowa and South Dakota already get 20% of their power from wind. And the Department of Energy says that we can get 20% of our power as a nation from wind energy alone by 2030. And It'll, be, it'll bring in more construction jobs, which or increases the tax, the tax renewals, and um, to local communities. If the United States would just produce 20% of its energy from wind, it would roughly bring in 800,000 jobs, and it increases tax revenues by 1.5 million dollars annually. Wind energy is friendly to the surrounding environment. It doesn't burn any fossil fuels to generate electricity and energy from turbines. Also, wind turbines don't take up as much space. Wind turbines range in size from <coughs> turbines to enormous utility scale power production facilities. Some of the larger wind turbines have blades that are over 40 meters long, meaning the diameter of the rotor would be 80 meters long, the length of a football field. Therefore, the wind turbines don't take up as much space as, some, as most of the wind panels do. Wind energy works in many different ways. When a boat lifts its sail, it is using wind energy to push it through the water. Wind can be more than just electrical energy. It can also be transformed into mechanical energy. If this process does not pollute, farms have been using wind turbines for years to pump their water well. Single small turbines below 100 kilowatts are used for, for homes, telecommunication dishes, and water pumping. Small turbines are sometimes used in connection with diesel generators, batteries, and photovoltaic systems. <coughs> Utility scale turbines range in from 100 100 kilowatts to as large as several megawatts. Large, larger wind turbines are more cost effective and are grouped together into the wind farms, which provide bulk power to electrical to the electrical grid, according to technologystudent.com. should be our country's choice for future production of electricity because it is renewable and reliable. The sun will always produce sun rays and it is up to us to take advantage of that use. The sun's energy also is very reliable and will always be there, unlike wind. Wind may be constant, but it has to be blowing at a certain speed for the wind turbines to work correctly. By the sun, let's see that guys know. And um, so, solar energy should be the country's choice uh, for future production of electricity because uh, every country has sunny days and everything, and the sun produces a lot of energy. modern now other than wind energy because it's used a lot and then it's not as like stuck out there as much as them and more people would probably like it better instead of being noticed as like the big sticks coming out of their yard and like killing stuff. Also on a residential scale, solar power generates more power than wind energy. They're, they're, unless you have a lot of land and wind plants. Well, 
according to uh, windstream.com, wind turbines kill an average of 44 people a year in construction. The youngest person ever killed by a wind turbine was a three-year-old, and the oldest person was an 85-year-old. And according also to windstream.com, uh, two to three wind turbines kill about 10,000 to 40,000 birds a <coughs> year. So solar said they can the sun is always up, but forty they only use forty the sun only, the solar panel only takes in forty percent of the energy from the sun and sixty percent of it is wasted. Now modern technology it's upgraded the forty percent to eighty percent, but the cost means that means the cost is much higher than it was. And solar cannot be used as night. In, at night, unlike wind. Wind can be used any time of the day. The, the turbines are 300 feet in the air, so that means the wind is moving faster. And solar panels do create, are made up of silicon and other toxin, toxic metals like mercury, lead, and cadmium. Pollution in the environment can also degrade the quality and efficiency of photovoltaic photovoltaic cells. New innovative technologies can over Thank you. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.